and our last speaker today is um, Margarita uh, Bajani. Is it right? Yes. Right. Because Margarita is a PhD candidate at the Center for Gender Studies at uh, the University of Nova Scotia. Well, I'm not like to say at the very beginning that that what I'm going to present to you is close to and to remind you the same case of that what Professor Altimir said uh, uh, on this opening speech that uh, in this book, this was for Schumer, he and uh, his uh, co-workers make uh, some kind of differences between uh, um, theoretical um, discourse uh, analysis and uh, discourse analysis. This what I'm doing is uh, uh, refer to uh, analytic data, uh, linguistic data, not so the theory of the discourse. And um, just one moment to start the slide. Uh, it is entitled Gender-Sensitive Textbooks Analysis for Serbian in Eighth Grade, the Case of Education and Ethnic Policy. Policy. I have to explain that uh, there is a province in Serbia, I am not uh, sure of uh, what extent are you familiar uh, with the, this educational system in Serbia? In promise why would you not uh, leave uh, almost 14, 15 minorities? And minorities, I have to make this. And uh, for um, uh, some of them, uh, this burden is uh, uh, they have uh, their uh, own mother language as teaching language. And they attend these classes in, uh, for example, Hungarian language and Romanian language and so on. But they also have uh, uh, lessons in Serbian language, which, which is called uh, Serbian as a second language. We call it Jezik uh, Dušteni There is no uh, correct uh, English or German um, uh, appropriate uh, translation. It is something like a uh, uh, language which is uh, spoken in your social and cultural surrounding. And um, this paper. Uh, deals with the literature textbooks for Serbian and Serbian as a second language. Okay. Numerous studies in Serbia confirm the existence of hidden curriculum in elementary school practice that transmits to pupils unplanned value attitudes and behavioral patterns through the educational process and the structure of the education system. Textbooks reflect the norms and values of the society and can be a political tool by highlighting, releasing, or misrepresenting the particular textbook's contents. Institutional power in the educational discourse is a hierarchically organized with clear structures and mechanisms of control and self-protection. We call it self-protection. Textbooks are linguistic corpus on planned, persuasive socio-cultural interaction on micro and on macro level between social ideology or policy, teachers and pupils. They are an inherent part of teaching, whether they are classified as primary auxiliary uh, teaching tools, and their features or quality standards are defined by state education legislation. In Serbia, there is particular uh, regulation of textbooks, quality standards, and instruction for their use. Uh, in these documents, I underline the uh, indicator for ethical and educational requirement. In textbooks are affirmed the principles of democracy and human rights, the respect of gender equality, and the appropriate use of both grammatical and gender of nouns, because Serbian language, language recognizes the grammatical uh, noun of the nouns. Um, uh, at present, there is a draft law on textbooks, the new one, which is in uh, procedure. And uh, in this document, Article 14 allows the implementation uh, of the principle of equal opportunity and pro prohibition of discrimination in content and form of textbooks. Uh, in the same time, Article 16 states the compliant, that uh, the compliance standards of quality textbooks are obligatory condition the condition for textbooks approval. Uh, I, because of the time limit, I have shortened that research, but I would like to um, emphasize a lot of research that is Diana Brook for Serbian uh, research. She explores the basic socialization model of elementary school texts for almost 20-25 years. 
and she find out three basic structural elements, the struggle for so, uh, sovereignty of the community, the struggle for social justice, and for fair distribution of power in society. Uh, these uh, the basic coordinates of this uh, model are the relationship between IU, EU, and the New World. So the dominant narrative of socialization is I with others, our against foreign, and the new develops from the good past. She proposed also that the positive gender model should be adjusted to this dominant one, so that the question raised are uh, who am I as a woman? Uh, in what relation am I to the other ones? Who are the others uh, for me? Who are we as women? What is new for us? What is old for us? What, what is uh, our past? And so on. Uh, the aim of this paper is also that to deconstruct the content and concept of these literature textbooks for the, the eighth grade of elementary school for Serbian and Serbian as a second language which are currently used in my webinar as uh, the print of gender sensitive analysis. The uh, eighth grade uh, is the last one uh, in the primary school. Uh, I compare these findings with the previous one uh, to determine whether this project process of gender equality integration has uh, revived in textbooks in terms of non-discriminatory practices. The theoretical and methodological framework is based on socio-cognitive approach to CDR uh, of Tandik, and uh, this was analysis uh, of Eka Savic. And for the gender sensitive content analysis, I use a research matrix and codebook composed for the needs of the regional project uh, gender sensitive textbooks and cultural practice in the Balkan region. And there are the, um, several publications as a result of this uh, practice, but as this uh, project. In this research map matrix consists of 99 questions, uh, which are grouped into the following section basic information, textbook information, text information, information about equipment, literary form, and context of the text, <laughs> question considering female and male characters, uh, representation, age and residential status, conflicts, social position and rights of women, violence against women and men, family, family roles and relation professional rules, attributes, values, and interests. There are one session uh, regarding uh, children's game, but in this, uh, because of the age of the pupils, uh, they are uh, no that this variable children game, so there was uh, no answer to this question. And I didn't consider that in the research. The best basic unit of the analysis is a text, defined as a um, text or thematic unit with a clear remark to the beginning and the end beginning with the title and ending with the text analysis. For example, question and task for pupils. And the corpus consists of two literary uh, textbooks. The first one is for the Serbian language, uh, as the Serb, uh, Serbs are native speakers. From Natasha Stankovic, Sosha, uh, The Art of Words, the literature textbooks uh, in the eighth grade with the 41 thematic units. And the other one for Serbian as a second language from Stask and Kortana and Dovdic Natasha. And Satan for Mysteries of Mind and Heart, Serbian is the second language with 41 thematic units. And for the, for the comparison of the findings uh, for literature in textbooks in um, the Serbian language, is this publication Stefanovic, Yelena, and Glamoshek Sasha, Gender in Literature in Textbooks and Classroom Practice of Serbian Language in Primary School. And for the comparison of the findings for literature textbooks for Serbian as a second language, is one uh, defended master thesis from Grotic Milana, discuss analysis of gender bias in uh, primary school textbooks. And because of the time limits, I will present it only some of the results. This slide uh, shows us uh, the percentage of female and male authors of the text units in both the literature textbooks. As you can see, the male authors dominate. Uh, there is a different, but the result is uh, in both the same. And the male authors dominate. The second slide shows us, for example, the, the number, the percentage of female and male characters on a pictorial edition. Uh, uh, although there are some minor differences, uh, as you can see, uh, the male characters on a pictorial edition are mostly or only represented male characters. There is uh, many things because this uh, analysis goes very in detail. 
uh, this uh, slide shows us the dominant themes from these text units from the uh, textbooks. Uh, in literature, in textbooks for Serbian language, uh, intimate life is the dominant theme, and in the second place uh, are historical themes. And in literature, in textbooks for Serbian as a second language, the uh, dominate other themes, and in the second place is intimate life and literature. You can uh, in, uh, you you will see that there are differences in this, uh, between these two textbooks. This slide uh, shows us that these analyzed text units uh, speak mostly or only about men or male characters. There is an important uh, difference uh, uh, between these two textbooks regarding the equally men and women. As you can see, 14.6 and there is uh, 2.4. The main characters are also male. Uh, in both textbooks, there are differences, but this domination is clear. Uh, only few texts uh, speak about social inequalities between women and men, or social uh, equality at all. Only six textbooks in each other textbooks for Serbian language, and one for Serbian as a second language. And two texts in both deal with the issue of the cultural rights of women, with what that is like conclusion, case marginalization. Also, psychological and physical violence in both literature and textbooks is usually directed against men and directed by male characters. And small number of texts raise the question about the violence against female characters. This violence against the female characters is psychological or physical, and it is a predominantly described as domestic violence. Uh, domestic violence in conclusion, my conclusion is that the violence is not a as important issue. Uh, I underline this because uh, in the last five years, there is a major pro project in the Serbian um, Ministry of Education um, against uh, violence, peer violence, and in the state as a whole. But uh, through textbooks, you cannot see this kind of efforts. Uh, this slide shows us the professional roles of female characters. Uh, is, uh, their percentage and frequency is very low than, than they are. Present, then these are stereotype. They are stereotypical. Mm -hmm. um, interesting is only this female artist uh, as professional uh, role of uh, female characters in Serbian is a second language. What I found very positive. The same thing is with the male characters. So the percentage and frequency is much higher. They have a professional, uh, stereotypical professional approach. In that book of Serbian language, print states and soldier army officer in the first two places. In Serbian, the second language, teacher or writer, which is uh, also sometimes a stereotypical configuration. <coughs> Positive psychological attributes of uh, uh, female characters are sentimental and compassionate. In the second place, stereotypically loyal, in that book of Serbian language, and unstereotypically enterprising and active. That book for serving the second language. Men are, uh, what is interesting, sentimental and compassionate and stereotypically in both of the textbooks. In the second place, the stereotypically intelligent and smart in the serving the second language because of the context in which this uh, attribute uh, come and, uh, comes and uh, active and, and uh, are active and enterprising serving the second the negative psychological attributes of female characters have a low frequency, only uncompromising stands out. Men are unfortunately violent and fearful. <laughs> uh, values of, uh, of um, female characters are stereotypical uh, traditionalism, marriage, family, uh, uns uh, un uh, and love in certain uh, second language, household, but uh, in their interest are also stereotypical family life, children and marriage and households. Uh, the values of uh, male characters are also stereotypically patriotism, traditionalism, religious way of life. Um, uh, and uh, what I found very, very, very positive in this uh, text for Serbian language are, on the other hand, knowledge and education and love. Um, their interests are military, domestic, animal care, history and national destiny in this text uh, for Serbian language. And all education, work, and professional success in certain textbooks of certain the second language, what can but uh, must not be recognized as something stereotypical. 
and in the comparison of the findings, I will only underline the differences because there are uh, much more uh, uh, similarities than differences. Uh, in the analysis for Serbia and for the tactics for Serbian language, I noticed the increasing number of male text authors, uh, but also of equally portraying uh, of pictorial edition in terms of men and female characters. There is a change in dominant text theme from other themes, nature, family, and family life to historical themes and intimate life. There is also increasing number of uh, text units uh, which are uh, raising the question about psychological and physical violence against women and men. The positive attributes of female characters in both analysis uh, changed also from active enterprising to sentimental and compassionate. And the male also changed, male from both male characters, from brave and intelligent to sentimental and compassionate. Uh, in analysis uh, for Serbian, uh, of textbooks of Serbian as a second language, I uh, noticed a uh, decreasing number of male text authors and increasing number of uh, portraying of female characters and female male pairs. Uh, also, uh, positive attributes of female and male characters in both analyses are sentimental and compassionate. Values of male characters changed uh, also from patriotism, love, uh, to uh, work and diligence, to education, knowledge, and love. And uh, that was the thinking. Uh, and uh, in, on the conclusion, I would only uh, say that it was uh, to deconstruct the content and form of this uh, aforementioned textbook's characters through the prism of gender sensitive analysis, and then to compare pair these findings with the previous one to determine whether the process of gender equality and regression uh, has revealed uh, in these uh, textbooks in terms of non discriminatory practice. And uh, the result shows that uh, male authors and male characters still dominate in text units and in pictorial edition. They are active bearers of action, initiated the plot and solution of action. They have stereotypical uh, professional roles. Their interests and uh, values are also stereotypical. Women are passive. They also have stereotypical professional roles, values, and interests. Their <coughs> rights are marginalized. Uh, positive uh, is this attribute sensitive and compassionate for male characters in both analysis. Uh, and I can uh, say that uh, this literature technique for Serbian is a second language and all and in some segment contains internalized principles of gender equality. For example, direct addressing to female pupils, pupils use of gender sensitive language, text in selection and additional uh, and of additional that unit is made in that way that, that contributes to more uh, to make a, a woman's contribution to knowledge and says more visible. Uh, there is more female characters, but these characters are still passive. Uh, comparison of the findings for textbooks of Serbia language um, uh, show the no positive change, but uh, there is a positive change change in textbooks for Serbian as in the second language because of the increasing number of female authors. Uh, and characters and equal representation of uh, male and female characters together. So at the end, um, I can say that there is no integration of gender equality in its concept and content, content of literary textbooks, uh, gender stereotypes and discrimination and rule. There is no in, in, uh, interest for gender issue. Um, national curri curriculum, certainly national curriculum, describes which text authors will be included in the uh, textbooks. But it is still unclear to which extent both this autonomy of textbooks, authors, and reviewers in text shaping and selection. Um, are they following, I'm raising the question, are they following the quality standards and educational attainment and standards for pupils? Uh, because today there is no mechanism of control and uh, sanction for this action. Thank you, Thank you very much. Question. Uh, do some authors of uh, the textbooks for Serbian as a second language belong to the minorities in Vojvodina, for instance? Uh, yes. yes. I mean, the authors are. Yes, because uh, um, I don't know. And the university of Vojvodina, you have a department for Serbian, and Serbian as a second language in combination with some other, uh, with some other mother languages. And uh, 
the professors from this area are very um, come from yes, the minority. Yes, yes. So yes. it's interesting. Yes. Yes, I agree. Exception I zero bias. I just a What do you mean by the women's right? Is it about poor choice? You mentioned that there was social, social, cultural, educational right. Okay. Okay, I have one question because I don't know the Serbian language. And in some languages you can distinguish between the female and the male profession. For example, yes. in English you can't. Yes. As a teacher, you don't know it's male or female. In German, yes. you can. Yes. They are having their, is it possible in the yes. Yes. yes, the same thing uh, as in the German language. Okay. It is possible. Yes. Uh, yes. La the language for uh, is the feature of the language allows us to make this. It allows it. And it allows it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just was, was wondering, you, you said that there was an improvement or a change in the SSL books. And it, would you say that it's a result of uh, changing society, that there are more women, right, like having this, 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 this profession of writing textbooks? Or um, is, it a, a, is it the result of policy, that then there's a consciousness we need to uh, have gender equality, and that's why we, we, we change. Uh, in this specific case, this um, person who wrote uh, a textbook, textbook for Serbia as a second language is the uh, conscious of gender inequality and uh, gender issue in general. And um, uh, she knows, uh, she, for example, she are, is aware of some uh, uh, gender literature, literature um, regarding gender issue. That's why this uh, result is so positive, because she has done it uh, in purpose. Uh, but uh, uh, that is the answer to uh, the second part of the question. The first part, uh, uh, there is two ways to um, do that. Um, the first one is uh, to make the social uh, change and then to reflect, reflect that in uh, language. Uh, or to um, change uh, the language uh, uh, appropriately, uh, not appropriately with detention, and then to make a change in mind. Um, uh, I am um, uh, researching the classroom talk uh, of uh, children in primary school, and I have a son. And uh, as he entered the primary school, uh, it was very natural, for example, for him to set uh, for uh, some female person, uh, that uh, professional role with the uh, female ending uh, yes. but uh, and not only he but uh, other younger children but the, uh, from the higher classes uh, that is lost uh, lost and uh, for example uh, in the eighth grade they, they have something uh, which is called prof professional orientation with, uh, with um, the aim of this uh, project is to represent them uh, which uh, profession are existed in Serbia, what should they do, and so on and so on. Of that is project of Ministry of Education and must be um, uh, promoted in school and done in schools. And uh, there is no um, use of gender sensitive language. Uh, there, there is no uh, clue of uh, anybody to explain these children. Children. They are not uh, obligatory to that uh, to that to um, choose a stereotypical uh, um, professional role. Uh, and uh, uh, I recorded one um, <coughs> recorded one um, uh, class um, one lesson in Serbian language, and uh, the uh, the theme was let's see our ancestors. And the teacher, female teacher, raised the question, do you know any famous uh, Serbian woman, man, and so on? And uh, the answer was, uh, all the answer uh, was uh, regarding uh, um, these uh, authors uh, from textbooks, and they noticed only one female person. There are two, but they are remembered one. And not uh, in Serbia, there are many, many famous women, uh, but uh, 
they, they, they do not uh, have a clue about it. And I am the opinion that uh, uh, especially uh, education uh, is uh, obligated to do that. And But uh, there is still a solution because uh, this is a textbook and uh, the uh, classroom practice is something else. Uh, uh, the, the role of the teacher is, is crucial. But, uh, and there, there were effort, uh, efforts from the uh, educational system and, um, in form of some seminars from the teacher and so on to raise awareness of this question. But it is, didn't, uh, because I am measuring uh, the effects of these uh, efforts of integration and equality, but no, there is no. Okay. Thank you. Um, there is something in Serbian language that we call uh, generic masculine or generic male or gender. Like if you have a group mix of male and female, you, you, the expression you use is male form, right? Yes. Do you have debates about that? Or if you if you were focused, if you were if you did some analysis of uh, the, the same question should yeah. be raised in but I changed the concept. The concept then you will have a because in Serbian language, recognize um, uh, uh, words which have a grammatical uh, uh, female gender, but the meaning uh, uh, is uh, male. For example, how do you say it in English, Richter? Judge. Judge. Judge, yes. Judge. Uh, in Serbian, it is Sudia, and the uh, uh, every noun ending with a have a grammatical female gender, and uh, then there is always a discussion. And should we say uh, this, uh, that if in a sentence uh, judge uh, said something? Uh, are we going to put the verb, uh, verb also in a uh, grammatical female gender or in a male gender? Would you say gospođa sudija? No, but when you are a male, I also use the word sudija. Sudia je rekla ili sudia je rekao. Because, uh, and I have to explain something. In Serbia, there is a, a, a Serbian language is standardized after the separation of the suffering. Then, then was a, there is an institution with a few uh, very important that is also linguistic, uh, and they are standardized the language. But they are not using uh, live uh, data. Uh, they are they are only prescribing. But on the other hand, the, the um, uh, Serbian uh, govern, government um, uh, is obligated to uh, standardize the gender-sensitive language. This year is the last year, and I am not. Uh, that is a convention, some some kind of convention. I cannot say it in English. Um, and uh, I am very happy to see what is going to be. <laughs> because it has to be, uh, we can use it, and I, uh, but it is not going to be easy. Uh, through, the, through the use of gender sensitive language, I can uh, um, affect someone to change his uh, mental representation of that as it's going to take. Yeah? Social, uh, social shared the mental representation of some social cultural categories. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much for this nice panel and this uh, nice discussion. I think we have a Disconnect uh, Discross Net meeting at uh, uh, 6 20. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So there, there was a, a meeting at 6 30 downstairs. 6 30. So between 20 and 30. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Uh, and this is a vision for, for, for all of us just to talk about our work, to uh, 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 present some, uh, we will present some ideas from, from, from the discourse net uh, activities, so uh, with the school, um, um, we're talking about some other activities in the, of the last two years, and also about future activities, so uh, this opportunity for each of us to uh, present ourselves and to think about how we could uh, fill up this course net with more Activities for life and some new ideas. So, well, so we meet at six twenty or six thirty uh, downstairs. Thank you.